Welcome back to Strong's Garage. Hey, you go, Matt. Jim here. And today, Jim's going to bring his motorcycle in here. We're going to get it ready for a bike show we're putting it in. Yeah. Yeah, I got the bike a while ago and um, it's kind of lacking something. The older paint job on it and just kind of, I don't know, I always looked at it and went, ah. So we want to make it more correct with the correct pinstriping like it would have had. So we're going to enlist our friend Dave Dunbar from Ace Fine Lines and uh, take you along on that little journey. Yeah. So that Dave. should be something different, hey? Something motorcycles. Completely different. Yeah. Two wheels. It's almost motorcycle season. Yeah. But it's still snowing. So Another thing that I want to mention is that uh, some people have uh, commented about my belt. Ooh. And uh, we're curious about it. Well, that's my last name that's on there. And uh, my wife and kids got this for me for Father's Day a few years ago. So that's, that's my name. That's why it says that. And uh, it was made by a guy named Matt Codina at Codina Leather. And he makes these beautiful reproductions. This uh, reproduction of a Western belt from 1931 with my name added to it. And uh, anyway, I just thought I'd clear the air on that. But that's oh, yeah. what it says. It says my name. And I do <laughs> I do love this belt. I wear it every day and it's holding up like a champ. Even yeah. the correct uh, correct reproduction belt buckle he's made. So it's just, uh, just a thing of beauty. Anyway, so that's the story on the belt. Yeah. yeah. And keeps your pants up. So. Uh, that also, yeah, helps. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go get this bike fixed up. Yeah. Pinstriped away. See what Dave can do. Here's uh, Jim's Indian, like we said. His little 1940 sports scout. And uh, this is Dave Dunbar. He's a uh, pinstriper and sign painter that uh, I've known for years. And he does uh, the best work around. His grandfather was a sign painter. Hi, and, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave is, uh, is the guy that does all this stuff. So Jim wants to do this back more correct. Yeah, to more what it uh, should be. So. Now that spring's coming, it's uh, get to be motorcycle season. And we're actually going to try and make sure some of these are straight. <laughs> there you go. How long have you been doing this? 46 years. There you go, 46 years. Yeah. You had to depress me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave did lots of drag cars and, well, he's just everything. All yeah. the sign painting in our shop that we get done, all that, and maybe in the summer when we do some stuff on the windows, but Dave's the man. And uh, it's one thing for pinstriping, you know. There's a lot of guys that can pinstripe. But sign painting, that's a whole different thing. And Dave's good at it. So. And after almost half a century, it's still a non-profit organizer. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we get Dave all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we'll let Dave do a little straightening, and we can talk about the bike a little later. But uh, there he is. Well, let's see if we can make this work. This color is just not a whole bunch of fun to work with. Oh, all. yeah? Um, what is it, thin or something? Uh, well, streaks like a bugger. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, you're working with... Uh, you're dragging around aluminum particles and paint, basically. So. Mm -hmm. Let that tack up for a minute, and then we're going to flip her over and we'll do the other side now. Oh, nice. Where is it? Oh, well, there you go, Jim. Yeah, beautiful. Dave did a masterful job. Yeah, yeah, recreating the uh, sort of uh, original ish stripes. 
Boy, this is really changes the bike having this gold stripe. Oh, well. it's amazing the difference in the color from that white now to a, a proper gold. And it just looks, it's just perfect. He did a beautiful job. And uh, yeah, Dave, yeah, Ace Fine Lines things. is the ace. Yeah. The fine Lines. The ace of Fine Lines, yet yeah. again. So we might as well put her back together yeah. and uh, carry on. Carry on, with, yeah. What a difference of strength can make. Yeah. Wow, -ee. Look at that. Yeah. See if the old thing will start, eh? Hey? You bet. Go through the old procedure here. Got our pep cock. Open it, turn in a bit. Pull a uh, choke all the way down. There's a spark. Completely retarded. Or a throttle will open, maybe there to a half. Oh, we should, uh, we should say something too. Uh, Anybody's familiar with, uh, or not familiar with antique motorcycles, uh, their hand shift and a foot clutch. Brand loyalty with the Indian yeah. was uh, the throttle is actually on this side. Yeah. And the clutch works opposite of what a Harley works, and the shifter's on the opposite side. So it's really a. Yeah, their original ploy was, uh, or stories that I've heard is that uh, it's set up for police officers and the such. Anybody shooting a handgun, because most people are right handed and shot with their right hands. So you could. Be on the throttle and just kind of and shoot. I'll give her a couple of swats. In neutral. All right, choke on. Spark retarded. Oh, half throttle. And three good kicks and two clicks down on the old Lakert. Hit the ignition. And let's see. A subtle detail like a pinstripe can change the look of a, uh, a machine. Oh, completely. Yeah, no, it definitely. This is, uh, what is this, Jim? This is a Canadian military bike. Yeah, so this is 1946. Uh, 40 is the designation, and 6 was the Sports Scout, and uh, 40 is a year, obviously. And uh, yeah, no, so the story on this bike is that uh, the Canadian military, you know, they ordered or issued, they got around 800 bikes, and they never used them. And so these bikes ended up kicking around and got sold off. And so th one, this was one of them. And uh, so it was civilianized at some point, as you can see. It's about the nicer fenders and... Uh, well, uh, 1940 is the first year the Indian offered the skirted fender. So this has, uh, what, 1939? Yeah, 39 style fenders, which I think are pretty oh, prettier fender. Cool, yeah. So. But, yeah, no. So yeah, it's so kind they, of a mix. Mix up of bike parts. Yeah, but, but Canadian military bike. Canadian military makes it super cool. There's neat. There's still some original green on the toolbox and on yeah. the headlight wearing through. Yeah, I got it from a fellow semi locally, and yeah, it's pretty amazing that these things are uh, out there. This. Hey Jim, give us a tour. Yeah, I'll give you some of the finer points of this uh, old machine here. So there's some pretty neat features with Indian, fairly advanced, I guess, for the day, even nowadays. So uh, they had uh, like a. I guess more of a damper than a shock absorber, but on your front suspension here, you've got this coil spring, 
you've got these dampers and so you can uh, loosen or tighten depending on how how much damping you want and as well there's a damper right on your uh, your neck here and so if you're going over some particularly rough and bumpy roads you can tighten it up some people is mostly anecdotal say that you can't beat the way an Indian rides on gravel mm. and so uh, you'll have to have a, a, a a write off. A write off, Harley versus yeah, India. Yeah. See how it is on some loose gravel. Show us how you shift this thing, Jim. Oh, okay. Unlike uh, any sort of modern bike where you just give her a, a click and a bump and a squeeze, you've got nothing here and uh, a front brake on this side. So for shifting these old things here, it's neat. You've got your rocker foot clutch here. And so I like to think of it like a car. Clutch forwards is a uh, Clutch disengaged so you can make your shift. You've got your right hand, uh, your shifter here, and so it's neutral. First is forwards, and you come through neutral to second, and then thirds all the way back. And so. Yes. Yeah, Harley, they say toe to go, but on an Indian, you heel it up to go. Heel to go, yeah. yeah. So you'd simply clutch in, forwards, and then you just let her go and roll on your left hand throttle, and you're off to the races. Give us a little beep. Just like that. This is quite neat here. So your right hand, what would be a throttle, is actually your spark advance. And it merely just spins the distributor here, giving you uh, your advancement. What else uh, we got for features here? Oh, it's got uh, what they'd call the chummy seat, which... Uh, is that what the Indian called it? Yeah, it's called the chummy seat. Oh, in the Harley, it's the buddy seat. <laughs> buddy seat. Well, the Indians, you uh, have a chum with you. <laughs> and so, if, say, they uh, need a ride, you say, not a problem. Good chum. <laughs> you push this down. Take that down to there. So, you line these up as such. You just simply pop it in like that. You get a head here. Chum on the back. Your partner eh? here is they get on the back, they get their toes on oh, these and you've footboard. you've also got these footboard extensions. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And so, yeah, just like that, you're riding double. What a difference. Unreal. It's amazing. Fine liner himself. I yeah. cannot believe the difference. Ace. Yeah. Well, Dave Dunbar, he's great. I've known him for years and uh, he's the best. He does all our sign painting, like I said. And oh, he did my wife's truck and. And yeah, the, your truck, box, my everybody. truck, everybody's truck. Yeah. Yeah. Dave's, Dave's man out here for sure. Yeah. So, but again, something subtle like a pinstripe, what a difference. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, instead of going out and changing, I was ready to paint the whole bike. Yeah, yeah, Jim was on the fence about that color. And I was too, yeah. you know, it, but now it's, yeah, it, yeah, it now definitely it's, fits the bill. It's a winner. So anyway, there you go. Subtlety makes a difference. Yeah. Devil is in the details. Ah, uh, yes. Or whatever they say. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah.